does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Here, YouTube, I'm back again today for another Bower Place. I'm here with my amazing wife, Melina. Hello. And we're going to be checking out Telepathic, which is this month's Game Crafter Spotlight game, where I spotlight a game every single month on the Game Crafter. This is for two plus players. Take it 15 minutes to play, and it's for ages 12 plus. This is a cooperative game of wordless communication. Now, we're going to be playing the beginner's version of the game. This is because this is only uh, our second time playing. But in this game, Melina's going to be in charge of the colors. And I'm going to be in charge of the shapes and making sure everything gets right for that. So how this works is Melina's going to have two of these cards. They're either going to have purple, blue, orange, or green. One of them is going to go under here, and this will be a condition that we have to meet in order to win the game. One of them is going to go under there. That is a condition that if we ever meet it, we will lose the game. So show the lost color real quick. I won't look. So if this color pops up three times in a row, any time during the game, we immediately lose Melina slaps me in the face and says, you suck, we've lost. <laughs> Likewise, there's a winning color that she'll hopefully show. I can't tell. I'm not looking. And we have to have that color three in a row. But that's not all. Because I'm also going to be doing the same thing with shapes. So uh, there's stars, circles, the squiggly line, and the pluses. And here's what we have to get three in a row of in order to succeed, and then here's, if it ever happens, we immediately lose the game, and we can look at those as much as we would like. Now, we've also said four cards right over here. These are the four actions that we are going to be able to take. There's a whole bunch of actions we're not playing with that are more advanced. We're going to be playing on the easier difficulty. Also, we're playing on the beginner difficulty. Normally, these cards would have to be all use, and then they would replenish. We're just going to play in the nice mode, because it's already difficult enough as it is. So, how this is going to work is, we're going to take turns. And on your turn, you're not actually going to be doing the action you want to do. You are going to hand me a card, and then I'm going to try and do the action that you want to do. How do I know what action you want to do? Well, there's no good way to do it. I just got to kind of infer, because we can't talk back and forth. Okay. At some point, one of us, at the end of a round, is going to say, All right, I think we can do this. At that point you are going to guess what is underneath the uh, success shape, and I'm going to guess what's underneath the success color. And if we're both right, and both of those have three in a row, we immediately win the game. If at any point either of these happen, we say stop, we've lost the game, I'll let you go first. So you're going to pick out which one you would like me to do. I'm going to look at what uh, my miserable failures are. If we lose, okay, got it. Don't do, do this, don't do that. Got it, let's go. What am I doing? All right, everything to the left. So this is the part where we're not really supposed to talk much, but I will talk it out a little. I'm trying to see if there's anything that I could possibly move to the left that would get me three in a row, or at the very minimum, set, uh, set up for that well. Not, I don't see anything, then I'll just try and set myself up without screwing everything up. All right. Well, moving everything to the left, huh? Okay. Okay. I can do this. Uh, we'll do that one right there. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a great one. That you know one. All right. So, my turn. Can't, can't have that happen. <clears throat> this one. Down. Down. Yep, that's the word. Always forget it. My turn. Yeah, yeah, it is. I'm gonna go with. Um, you just had me move everything down. Oh yeah, never mind. <laughs> We're going to the right. To the right. What would benefit going to the right? Hmm. 
Did you just move it to the left? No, I think I moved it to the right. You went that way? I think so. Okay. I get it mixed up all the time. I got distracted by a fly, sorry. I'm gonna go. Let's bring it down. Let's bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. Okay. What are you trying to get me to do? Hmm, what am I doing? Hmm. To the left, to the left. Yeah. How do you do? To the left. Again. Alright. What am I doing? stars you're just guessing okay is that what we're doing well you just did so it's Sorry. done yeah uh i hope you're ready and because i think you're purple if not we've lost we're I, we I'm, I'm not oh are you blue i'm blue yeah dang it yeah were you stars yeah it was stars okay. i was just surprised you guessed that super early but yeah I was there. I was really hoping. Yeah. Yeah. What would you have told me to do? Because I think I could have probably got it after this turn. We're already blue. Yeah, I know. But that doesn't mean you guess. I, just, I was just curious. What would you have had me do? Like what? Either would my... the left or the right. Hoping that you'd come up here. Okay. Yeah, we still would have lost. If you would have went right. I, I thought you were purple. Because if you would have went right, I was going to do this. And then I was going to guess that you were purple. Because you were just trying to preserve purple. But no, there you go. I was trying to get my blues together. <laughs> we got everything together, just couldn't get it all connected. That's telepathic, though. A cooperative game of wordless communication. There's also a three-player version of the game and a, uh, a four-player version of the game, which I might get a video up on that. We'll see if that happens. But that's this month's Game Crafter Spotlight game. If it looks like it might be your cup of tea, be sure to check that one out on the link down below. Tell them Bowers Game Corner sent you. Also, if you're ever in the mood to make your own game, Game Crafter is the way to go, period. Uh, they do amazing front runs of prototypes. And I did it like 10 years ago, and they've just kept stepping up their game. Every like six months, it seems like get some fancy new machine that does all sorts of bells and whistles. They're spectacular. But... That's that's enough of me uh, doing the shill, but it's a real shill. I love the Game Crafter. I talk about the Game Crafter, don't I, dear? I do. I legit love them. But uh, the, the, the outro to this video. Um, bye. Bye.